Hello everybody, my name is Marlo and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a cow, sheep, chicken and pig pen in Minecraft. A couple of things before we begin, these don't have to be built to the same size that I've got here, it's more so just a base idea that you can build upon. If you'd like it bigger, you can easily follow the pattern and expand it that way. Same goes for the block palette. I'm using oak and spruce primarily here as they always look nice in almost every scenario, but if you'd like to change them out, you can easily do that too. You can also find a full materials list of all four pens in the description down below. Of course, those lists are for the same size and block palettes that we've got going on here, so if you're changing anything up, be sure to account for that. First up is the cow pen, though you could change the animal you're housing in here if you prefer. Same goes for the rest of the pens. We're going to start by placing four stripped oak logs seven blocks apart, so we end up with a 9x9 nine nine square, essentially. Then we can choose which side we'd like to be the front. I'm going to pick this one right here, and we're going to go two blocks in from either side like that. On the other three sides, we just want to leave one, two, three in between both of the blocks, so right in the middle, and just place another one of these down on all three remaining sides. These first four logs at the front of the pen, we're just going to place an additional one log on top of all of those. As for the remaining five back here, we're going to place two more logs on top of them. So these back here are three high, the ones at the front are just two high. And very simply, we can go ahead and grab a spruce slab and slap one on the top of all of those logs. On each of the four corner logs, we can go ahead and place two oak trap doors on the bottom log like that, on the outside of the block. And we can do that for all four of those corners like so. Then we can grab some spruce buttons, and on these middle logs right here, we're going to go ahead and place one of those on all of the outside blocks for the back three, and the two at the front, we just want to place them here and here with our spruce fence gate in the middle. Next up, we'll just grab some oak stairs, and we're going to place all of these in upside down on the bottom layer going all the way around. So essentially, we're connecting each log to another with these upside down stairs, all facing the same way, making sure they all are upside down. Then we're going to grab some spruce fences and just on this front section here, so we're not going to worry about the tall logs just yet, just the short ones, we're going to have two spruce fences at the front here and then three on both of the two sides over here. Then we can switch over to our spruce trap doors and we're just going to pop one of these on top of all of the fences. As for the back section, once again, it's just spruce fences and spruce trap doors, but these are all going to be too high. So just make sure they go a little bit higher, up to the same height as the logs are for all of these four sections. And same as we did for the front, we can just go round and place in our spruce trap doors. With that done, it is officially a pen. We're just going to put a bit of a roof on this one. So what we want to do to begin with here is just come over to these first tall logs and we're going to place a spruce trap door right here. So make sure it's underneath this slab and not in line with it like that, as we're going to be placing something on top of it in just a second. But we want to have spruce trap doors all the way over, skip a block, and we're going to do the same at the same height, making sure those trap doors are a little bit lower than the other ones there. You'll know if you place it wrong if you can't put something on top of it. So we've got our two trap door lines. On the other two lines, we just want to crouch as we do this and place in some spruce slabs for that line and also this one at the back. We're going to place some campfires on top of all of these blocks we've just placed down. We will be extinguishing them, don't worry, they're not going to burn indefinitely. We'll put them out in just a second, but if we place them down first, you see we have a nice wooden roof that's currently on fire. So we can just get our wooden shovel, or any shovel for that matter, and you just want to right click to extinguish all of those fires to get to a nice wooden roof that I think looks pretty good. Now we can just head on inside the pen and build a couple of things here too. Starting over here on the right hand side next to this log, we'll have an oak fence and a lantern just to light up the place so we don't have to worry about mob spawning in here. Then over on the left hand side, just to mark out where we're placing this in, we'll get a couple of temporary blocks and just place one next to the log and to the right of it. It doesn't matter too much, you can change this up if you'd like, I'm just trying to be specific. We'll place a spruce trap door on the two sides like that, get rid of these blocks and then step into where we just had them, do a little jump and just place two more in, then if we can actually escape, we can waterlog these two trap doors and we've got ourselves a small trough. 
And then over here, right in the middle, we'll just add in a little haystack. We'll just do something like this, kind of changing up the rotation as we place them so they're not all looking the same way. Finally, if you'd like, you can mix in some coarse dirt and path blocks just to make the grass look like it's been trampled here by the animals. So that is the cow pen all done. Next up is the chicken pen slash chicken coop. And the first thing we're going to do is just mark where we want the middle of this pen roughly to be. And then from this middle spot, we can go out one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth block, we can place in a spruce fence gate. Animals, you're getting a little bit closer to my liking. This is for the chickens, not for you guys. Wait your turn. But we just want to do that on all of the sides, leaving those five blocks in between the middle and the fence gate that we're placing down here. Now we're just going to grab some regular fences and connect these gates together. So we're going to come to the corner here, if you want to call it that. It is going to be a curved edge, so corner is maybe not the best word. But we can just place two spruce fences next to the gates like so. Then we want to go in by one block and then two more outwards. So we come to this point right here and then just another fence right here in the middle. We can also grab a flower pot and just place it on the corner fence here. So just the two away from the gate on both of the sides. And that's just for a little extra something on top of the fence for an added detail. And then you can go ahead and do the same for the other three quote unquote corners. With the gates all built, we can once again line ourselves up with the middle of this pen and we're just going to place down an oak slab like that. Then we're going to go around placing in a bunch of oak stairs and we just want to turn around as we place them to make sure we get this nice square and connect all of the corners like that. So as long as you place them the same way I did, you should have no trouble. Then we can just grab an oak slab and we're going to place one of those on the back of all of these stairs. And then we're going to face into this little thing we've just built and we're going to place in an upside down oak stair in front of all of those slabs. Diagonally outwards from all of these corner stairs, we just want to place in a barrel like that. Then we're going to crouch and place in two oak logs on top of all of those barrels. Then just to the side of all of these oak logs, we can get some stripped oak logs and we're going to place three of them like that. So for all of the corner pillars here that we have, we're just going to go up to the top and place in three more, bringing them up to the same height as the regular logs. Then we can grab some oak slabs and we're just going to place one of those on all of the top level right there. So it's all perfectly in line at the moment. And that is so we can actually jump up here and crouch to enter inside of the chicken coop along with the chickens. On top of all of the regular oak logs, we just want to place in oak slab and on the other three blocks for all four sides, we're just going to have some four planks like that. Then we're going to have another slab on top of the middle plank, just like that. And then if we just grab a temporary block, we will use grass for the meantime, we just want to place a temporary block next to all of these slabs here. And then at the same level these slabs are at, we're going to place in four more here on all of the open spots like that. Then we can place a temporary block in the middle, get rid of the four outer ones, and we're gonna go up by half a block and place in another oak slab on all four sides. And then lastly, one more on the middle here, right at the top. So the roof looks a little bit strange right now, but to remedy that, we're gonna be building a spruce outline all the way around the roof. So we're just gonna to come to one of the sides for right now, and we're going to grab our spruce slabs and we're just going to place them on the top half of this top oak log, just like that. Then we can have a spruce trap door in front of them and on top. So in front and on top, making sure they're not at the same height. On the lower trap doors, we're going to be placing in another two slabs and then a spruce stair in the middle. And you can do that for the other three sides. Just a couple of details left to add in, starting with some oak trap doors on the first log here on all of the corners. So the block just above the barrel, we just want to place in two oak trap doors to cover it up a little bit. You can still see through it, but it just adds that extra detail. Then we're going to add in our steps for the chickens to get inside of the coop, which is actually going to be rails. So you just want to go something like this, have the rails going all the way over, and then break this one in the middle. So it kind of looks like some steps that the chickens could walk up. Obviously they don't, but it's purely aesthetic and I think a pretty cool little thing. Just be careful how you place them. You want to get them going straight all the way across. And we can do that for all of the sides on all of our entrances. 
then we can just hop up here and actually crouch our way inside, break our temporary block from earlier, place a chain and a lantern to light this place up, as well as the rest of the pen, and then just for one final added detail, we're going to place some oak trap doors on these four spots right here. Finally, instead of adding in the coarse dirt and path blocks like we did for the cow pen, it wouldn't make much sense for chickens to have that much of an indent on the ground, so instead, we're just going to be placing some short grass here that you can either get through bone meal or shears, however you see fit, but we're just going to place a little bit of this round so you're not just looking at completely plain grass. And now the chicken pen is finished. Moving on to the sheep pen, and we're starting it in a similar way as we did for the cow pen, a 9x9 nine nine square, this time using barrels in the corners, and all of these are 7 blocks apart on all four sides. What we can do is just go grab some more barrels, and we're going to place an additional one on top of all of these that we already have, with a spruce slab on the second block like that. Then we're going to grab some oak planks and we're just going to decide on which one we want to be the front side. I'm going to pick this one over here and on this side we're doing nothing, we're leaving that empty for now. But on the other three sides we just want to stick an oak plank in the middle of all of the barrels. Then in between the plank and the barrels we're just going to have some upside down stairs. So very similar to what we have over there, just a little bit different. So we're just having those three upside down stairs in between the planks and the barrels, but of course leaving the front side, aka the entrance, open as it is for right now. On top of all of these oak stairs and planks, we're just going to go along with some spruce fences and line that on top of all of those blocks, on those three sides. For the front here, this is our entranceway, so in the middle block we want our spruce fence gate, and then there's three fences either side. These are meant to be a little bit lower than the other ones, that's totally intentional. Just to make this look a little bit more interesting than it currently is, we're going to plant some bushes all around the outside, specifically on the corners to cover up some of these barrels. So for this side, we're just going to place in three like that. It's just very simple bushes, you don't really need to think too much about it. I just know some people may prefer to see me place down every single block, so that's what I'm doing here. Over on this corner, we'll just do three like this, then another three like this, and just to make it not quite as symmetrical, we'll just place another one coming outwards like that. And for the final one over here, we'll just do something like this. Have three there, two there, one up here, one coming out here, and another one there. Again, doesn't really matter that much. It's just a couple of bushes going all the way around. As for inside the pen, the first thing we're going to do is grab a hay bale and just go one, two, three blocks in from this fence gate. And you just want to make sure when you're placing in the hay bales you don't get too close otherwise the animals will be able to escape so we just have one in the middle there we'll maybe have another one facing sideways on top one like this another one here and maybe one like this something like that is all good and they won't be able to escape because they can't jump like the player can over in the corner here we'll just have a spruce fence in both of those with a lantern on top and then finally, we're just going to make a small water trough around the back. So we'll break these six blocks here lined up with the middle. We'll have two like this in the center. And then you just want to curve the other two round on both sides like that. And then you can water log all of those stairs. It will probably fit in like it just did there with some water. Very simple. And finally, we're doing the same thing as we have for the cow pen. Just mixing in a little bit of coarse dirt and path blocks for the same reasons, to make it look trodden on. And there we go, that is the sheep pen complete. And lastly, we have the pig pen. Now this one is a little bit more confusing than the rest because it's not quite as symmetrical as the other three, but there is actually a little bit of a pattern. However, I'm gonna build it out of a temporary block first of all, stone in this case, and then add in the oak wood afterwards. Just a little bit easier, even for the sake of the tutorial. But if you want to add these as logs in as we go, that's totally fine. So we're going to start with two right here at the front, and this is going to be our entrance way. Then we're going to go back by and two here, add one here going out diagonally. Then we'll come out diagonally again and add two. Then we'll come around this side and add two. Same again over here. And then we'll come out diagonally once more and add in five. Same again on this side. And then it's basically repeating the pattern for the most part. So two, two, 
two inwards, two more inwards, and then five back here. So I just do a bird's eye view so you can see the shape we've made. Kind of looks like a light bulb. The next step is to go around and add anywhere from zero to three blocks on top of all of these blocks we've already placed down. Doesn't have to be exactly the same as what I'm doing here. You can make it up on your own. It won't look that much different, honestly. But just get a little bit of variation there. Try and make the heights different so you don't have too many of the same one all in a row. And then once you've got that done, you can switch them out for oak logs and stripped oak logs. When it comes to placing down the stripped oak logs and regular oak logs, it kind of looks like I've done them alternatively going all the way around, but that's not quite the case. It is for the most part, but every now and again, we kind of double up having them both by each other just to kind of break away from that symmetry and get a bit more randomness to our wall. And it is also worth mentioning, currently the animals can jump out. The pigs can just hop right out of here, which is a problem. So the next step is to break down the floor by one whole block. Once the floor is lowered, the pigs can no longer get out other than the main entrance over here. So what we're gonna do is just add a spruce fence gate right in the center here with two spruce trap doors on these two logs. The front two, I like to keep one block high and I like to have them as oak logs just for the main entrance way here. And then this block, we're gonna replace with an oak stair. And you may notice it looks a little bit weird with all of the dirt. So what we're gonna do is grab some more of the logs again and we're just gonna go around and replace the dirt block for whichever log is stood on top of it for the entire circle. The first thing we're gonna do in here is add in a little bit of lighting and all we're gonna do is just pick two of the tallest logs. So I'm gonna choose this one over here and this one. And on the second block down, we're gonna place in a spruce fence, spruce pressure plate on top, chain and a lantern. And we're gonna try and pick two that kind of like opposite sides so we get an even distribution of light all the way around our pen here. So we just got our two lanterns there, nicely lighting up this whole area. Next up, we can grab some trap doors and add in the food and water. So we're gonna pick two spots, let's say here and here, one for water, one for food. We'll do the food first of all. That is gonna be made out of soul soil. Maybe not the best block to use, but I thought this kind of looked like slop. <laughs> Again, if you wanna switch it out, feel free to. But we're just gonna place those three blocks down and cover them all up with some trap doors like so. Just be careful when you're placing this sort of stuff down, you don't go too close to the side. Otherwise, if you maybe have the trap door like here, the pig could just jump out that way. So just be aware and don't get too close. As for the water one, we're just gonna have two trap doors here and then two more here, so that when we open them up, they go away from each other. And then we'll have two more on this side and two more on this side. And very simply, we can just waterlog those first four trap doors. And then we have our water trough and food trough. As for the terrain here, obviously pigs are very, very muddy. So we're adding in two small mud holes, shall we call them, something for them to roll around in. And the majority of these are made out of muddy mangrove roots and just regular mud. Then once we got to our two mud pits, we can add in a lot of podzol and coarse dirt throughout the rest of the grass. So much so that there really isn't even much grass left. It's mostly just mud, podzol and coarse dirt, giving it this very muddy look, very suitable for the pigs. Which means the pig pen is all done too. And that now completes our four custom animal pens. I really hope this video has helped you out and that you enjoyed watching. Thank you ever so much for doing that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.